plus another new recruit, that's seven for the summer transfer window so far with the arrival of Alan Maybury. What was the reasoning behind that transfer? Yeah, we've, uh, Alan's been in a bit of training with us obviously for a while, so um, he brings a fair bit to the squad for us. His uh, experience alone is, is massive and we have a lot of young players here, so that will help in relation to playing and off the pitch as well. Versatility as well, he can play in numerous positions for us and we haven't got a massive squad, so we're going to need that. Um, he's a good player, you know, like I said, he, he brings a lot of stuff to the table. Another Dubliner, is he somebody that you've known about for quite a long time? I didn't know Alan that well, to be honest, just obviously knew of him, knew his career. Didn't didn't come across him in my career or of managing or anything like that, so um, but obviously know a lot of people, I've spoke highly of him, so I was delighted to have him. He's obviously a product of the Leeds United youth system and was a 10 capped uh, Republic of Ireland internationally, so that obviously speaks for us about the quality that he can bring to the equation. He's 34 as well. Do you feel that he will be another wise old head to have around the place? Yeah, like I said before, we, we do need that. We're lacking a little bit in, in experience around the camp, and uh, it's important that you bring in good quality players that have the knowledge of the game as well. And like I said, he can be a massive help to the younger players at the club. He's a, he's a fantastic professional. You know, he does everything properly in relation to how he prepares for games and how he plays and how he trains. So that can rub off on people and that's what we're trying to do. We've got a lot of young players at the club, whether in the force team squad or, or underneath that. So he's going to be a help all the way through as well as, as being a fantastic player for us. So your team news, James, James McPake was taken off right at the end at, at Tannadice. What's the latest with him? Yeah, he's fine. He's, he's OK. He's trained all week, so there's no problem. We've been lucky enough at the moment. We uh, haven't picked up too many injuries. I think Danny Calbraith is the only one that hasn't really done any training. Everyone else is, is, is flying at the moment. Gary Deegan obviously hasn't had a lot of match practice. What's the likelihood of him being given an opportunity Sunday? Yeah, he's, we brought him into play, so he's got a fair chance, I think, of playing on Sunday. And uh, like you say, he hasn't played loads of games, but he's generally a very fit player. Um, he'll, need, he'll need, obviously, games to get right up to speed, but I think everybody's in that position at the start of the season where you need games to get yourself, four or five games to get yourself sort of to level, level where you want to be. So. Um, but he's a good addition to us as well. I'm delighted that we've got him in. Obviously, he's a great player anyway, as we've seen uh, of, regarding his track record. But to what extent does it help that you're bringing in players that already understand the Pat Fenham way that you don't have to give them a huge amount of instruction because he's pretty much been taught by yourself for, for a good few yeah, years? I think it's important you have some. I don't think we need to have, you know, we are very conscious and not just going and getting players that we've worked at. You know, we wanted to get some in that obviously now in the helps that he's coming in into, into particularly into a big position in the team and in the pitch that he knows what we're expecting from him, he knows what we want and uh, you know, he, he, like you said he has played under himself and he's been involved with Lane for a while as well so um, but he's a great addition to the squad, I think over the season people will, will see that. Obviously just in terms of previewing the, the derby on Sunday is now the biggest game in Scottish football, all eyes will be on Easter Road, uh, what would be your message to, to supporters? I know um, We've obviously experienced a lot of pain before in this fixture. How can do you feel we can put it right? I think it's it's difficult for me to stand and say get behind. I think they've been behind us. I don't I don't think it's really up to the supporters this week. To be honest, I think it's up to the players and myself to make sure that a thing gives them something to shout about. And that's that's as simple as that this week. I don't think I can come on here and say get behind us. Come out. They've done all that. You know they've they've followed us to a man, whether it be the Hamden up to Dundee. So it's 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 about us this weekend. It's about us performing and getting the results and putting in the performance. The supporters can be proud of.